My hands are freezing like there's no blood there, like the blood knows there's no reason. A fact as wise and old as is this whole cold season. Please, won't someone feed me? He said, seizuring on the floor of his home's back seat, heaving dizzily, shifting between a sheet and wishing between shiverings from a broken car on a foreign star's promises and mysteries, dealing confessions like report cards and memories like wizardry. The words were all he had, the very last trick up his sleeve. It was a miracle he was breathing, let alone speaking lyrically. Police were his constant enemy, leaving him with emptiness and misery. Penniless and dinner be a thought not thought of recently. Trying to look decently with nothing clean or wrinkle free. While at night he dream of ordering anything that he could eat. And when they saw him walk to church, it was full of empty seats. Empty hearts and donors, heavy doors locked in the Jesus feet. Miserable, cynical, so much he'd take the pulls, anything to make his criminal mind that just a little more minimal, forming clouds that would cloud that mind high and in the cold, so he could get to sleep without the pills, yeah, he's pitiful, and no longer gets a lift from the residue, only a residual fix, and he'd tell his heart this, I know you've grown cold from my habits because of the habitat I'm in. You can hear his heart's response like a bird with clipped wings as it sings. You'll never know what you've done, kid. You strained me like guitar strings. But in the grand scheme of things, he shouldn't sing that which he should say. He's seen it stop twice before. Guess karma wants its debts repaid. But until then, if you may, won't someone make him a plate today?